right, so let's try this again. Three, two, one. Hey guys, here I'm done here, and we're talking dailies today for ESO Weekly. So you don't know what a daily is? Well, we're gonna get into it tonight. So, first thing, dailies. You notice the little quest icon above the people's head? This is a daily. It's a little bit different than the other ones here where you usually see like the, uh, the white or the black outline ones here. This is a daily that you can repeat every day. In addition to that, several of these are also repeatable. Uh, and the reason this is important is especially because we're doing Rothgar currently in our first showing here. And Rothgar is actually giving double rewards this week because it's Rothgar's anniversary. And you're gonna see some of these other anniversaries come up uh, throughout the uh, throughout the season here. But you wanna get into these dailies because they give you several good items here. Uh, this one here is the city one here. There's another place that gives another one here. I'll show in a bit. But this basically gives the world boss for the Rothgar stuff. And while we switch kit tunes real quick, uh, this basically gives uh, various items here that you want to have. So it gives gear, crafting materials, motifs, achievements, experience, gold, and AP, depending on where you use it and what you use it for. Uh, Rothgar in particular is pretty useful for Briarheart uh, equipment. Also has some very unique motifs that you want to get from it, about three different motifs, I believe, uh, that you can get from that. And it's also a rare drop that you can get from those as well. Apologize here while I look at my notes here and also talk to you guys as well on some of this stuff. Uh, this one here, as you can see, uh, this guy here gives our dailies over in Rothgar in a different location. And you'll typically find that this is the case. Like you'll have a, a main location uh, for some and you'll have a side location for others here. So this handles the delves. The other one will handle the world bosses. And I'm just going to kind of flip through and go into the other areas here, showing you where each one of these dailies occur. Now, there is a lot of del uh, dailies that you can do, about 50 plus that you can do on top of it. I'll just wait to my next one here. These did. Uh, but for Rothgar, for example, there is one, uh, there's two quests that you can do. Each one of them shareable across the board with what you want to do. Uh, and you can have one in the city, one in the the tribal location, as I call it, uh, to handle the bosses and delves. Uh, the boss is one you can share because typically you have to have other people come along to help you. And typically the bosses, you wouldn't want to have to face a world boss on your own. Uh, now why would you want to do this repeatedly over and over again? It's typically because of the drop stuff that you're looking to get. Uh, the motifs are very rare to get, so you kind of have to do multiple locations of it. Uh, for example, this is the Thieves Guild here. These ones are a little bit uni more unique with some of it. This one here is a heist board, which does heists only. You actually have to do part of the story quest to get this. Note as well, there's also the tip board here for dealing, uh, for varying, like, stealing items here. And... Part of the other reason for this as well is the Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood to actually progress the story, you have to do part of these dailies here to boost up your reputation inside those guilds. If you don't do them, you can't actually do some of the main quests. Kind of complaint from some people with that, which I can agree with, like you don't wanna have to grind these out to get these done, but it is what they put inside this as well. Now for Hughes Bane, uh, these ones here, like I said, you have one heist and you have a requisition board here, which handles both world bosses and delves uh, to do as well. And again, the world bosses and delve ones are shareable. The ones that are for uh, del, or sorry, the ones that are for heists are not shareable, but you can also group up and bring people in with you if you need to as well, uh, which is kind of unique. I want to hear here while I go to show off the other area. Now, the next area you're going into is Gold Coast, which is the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, you have one inside of Anvil, which handles most delve quests. 
You have Kavach, which handles world quests, it, or world bosses, sorry, not world quests, and Dark Brother, which has, handles dark sacraments and various uh, murder, uh, uh, sorry, murder quests uh, to kill a bunch of people or to kill a specific target to raise yourself up in the Dark Brotherhood as well. Some of these are pretty easy to get to. Some of these other ones are kind of far off, which is why you kind of logged in on other characters here. But as you can see here, the bounty board here handles the Delve stuff, located right in Anvil. And like again, some of these also do require that you co you complete and go through some of the story before they'll actually show up. Luckily, the Rothgar ones, you don't have to start the story or anything like that. They'll be there right on a new character right as soon as you get to the area. Uh, Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild stuff. You better work yourself up a little bit, get through some of the story before it actually shows up. What do you want? Dark Brotherhood here, of course. A little bit further in. You can see the item of the icon up here with the bounty board. This one here will give you the world bosses. Now the world bosses ones, I do recommend you find a party if you don't have one. Or you just start calling out in zone, like, I'm going to go kill this boss here right now. Uh, could use people type X or type Y or, you know, some abbreviation for the boss. And folks will generally come in to come help you as well. For the Dark Sacraments and the Heist, you're kind of on your own. You can bring a friend along if they know what they are. And some of the kill jobs are, the kill jobs you can't share at all. You always have those on your own. And the thieving jobs you always have on your own as well. Like... You can't really group steal or anything like that or group kill. It doesn't really translate that well to a to a group aspect, I guess. <laughs> Apologies for the weight, guys. The, the loading screens are always the, the pain and the long part of showing some of this off. <laughs> there we go. So as you can see here in Dark Brotherhood, after you join the Dark Brotherhood, you get this Mark for Death quest here. And these are just repeatable quests. They can actually come, those quests you can actually repeat more than once in a day because if you want to get faction uh, with the Dark Brotherhood, you kind of have to do them. The Dark Sacraments and the Heists here are done only once a day and only by yourself. So we talk to speak, Speaker Tinos here and you have Dark Sacraments and other good stuff for that as well. Okay, let's see. Went over Rothgar, Gold Coast, Hughes Bane. Ah, Clockwork City is next. Now, this does not count any... Uh, this doesn't have any... Uh, we don't have any dailies for Delve or, sorry, Dungeon uh, DLCs. Uh, that would include things like the... Sorry. Uh, that would include things like the Shadows of the Hiss DLC, uh, the upcoming Wolf guard dlc uh horns of the reach dlcs those won't include any dailies but you do have dailies in the forms of undaunted dailies which require that you go into a random dungeon uh well not random they're set per day but basically you have a rotating set of dungeons that you can go through each day and you get keys for them and as you go in for keys uh those keep your shoulders and other unique things from those chests and those are actually going to get buffed up in the next patch here And of course, everything takes a long time to load up. Now, the brass, uh, the Clockwork City, uh, the Clockwork City delves are a little bit unique because they have both World Delve Collection and uh, what I call item turn-in quests here. So, basically, Jawbroker Ragzad, Ragzad, I can't pronounce that name. Uh, here, will give you something saying, "Go off and collect me," you know. 10 cloth pieces here so we can rework something here you actually get to keep the items in there as well as uh getting a reward here a crow enjoys playing first sort of tributes here bird. uh we'll take items from you uh usually like ornate items or a certain type of item saying that he needs them for the uh quarter crows and it's actually kind of unique because you don't usually keep the ornate stuff for anything but selling but it's kind of unique that it gives you those items and actually gives you the uh nocturnal 
the nocturnal armor motif as well. Uh, Clockwork Facilitator here will give you jobs, I believe, for the world bosses. And Novice Holly here, uh, Deli Broker, will also give you jobs for the uh, Dells inside Clockwork City. So that's kind of unique in the way that that handles. Now that's the DLCs. Now the expansions, each one of the expansions also has dailies. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of dailies inside this. But we have two sets of dailies here that you can do here as well. Uh, one is in the Ashland area, the other is in Vivek City. So I'm gonna show off the Ashlanders first, but you have two in the Ashland area, uh, one for a hunt and one for a, basically a delve search thing. Um, and each one of them are kind of uh, for the Ashlander stuff, or you can get basically either an Ashlander motif and also the Ashlander like crafting material, so you can actually make the item that you're looking at. Now, I do believe you have to finish some of the uh, quests inside this area before they start giving you dailies. But Huntmaster Hunt Sorum here gives you hunts. Or basically you have to go into the area, follow a set of quests or tracking or quest points along the way, and eventually you come to the boss, kill it, and you get your reward. The more we learn about the past, the better Namrami we or are for the future. Nam Namami. Nam Namami. Just can't pronounce that. Uh, basically gives you some quests to go off into delves, into areas, uh, gather some things up and then come back to the tribe with it and that again gives you some ashlander stuff that you can uh use also gives you motif also gives you items from the area now i will also say that some of the items in the area not so great like you know the dark brotherhood doesn't have an item set that you really want to use for anything right now because the item set's kind of poor for that but that doesn't stop you from doing it as well because on top of all this other stuff, you also get experience for doing these dailies, which can help you level up your alternate character. So if there's a set that you really don't want to do, but you really want a motif from an area, it doesn't hurt to take a low level character, run it through that area, and then, you know, on your high level characters, go to the stuff that you really want to get for those. Trail in here. Major events overshadow the level. One of these handles world bosses, one of these handles uh, delves. I can honestly not remember which one of it is. I believe it's, I believe she handles delves and I believe he handles world bosses. But if I'm wrong, I'll put a comment down below. I apologize. <laughs> All right, Clockwork City, Morrowind. Yep, yep, yep. Somerset. I apologize, it takes forever to get the stuff loaded here. Now, Somerset's a pretty easy one to get into. Everything is done in Simmering. It's the most furthest city from where you actually start. Also show showcasing our characters here during, uh, for during the show weekly here. So I apologize for <laughs> kind of showing it off. But uh, you have stuff for world bosses, delves, and for doing the new dolmen stuff with the abysmal geysers uh, throughout the areas. And these basically give you access to the uh, new motifs, uh, various item sets that you may want, and some various materials you may want as well. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. So starting off here, you have a Justice Shark Toral in here, Justice Shark Follow in here. Feathers of all things. I'm pretty sure Justice Shark Toral in here is the one who handles most of the delve based uh, stuff. Uh, full, uh, Forwell, Forwell <laughs> here handles most of the world boss stuff. And coming up here, since I do not have the quest, this is kind of actually good, a, a good way to show. There's an NPC that shows up right here after you completed part of the questing and it shows you delve or abysmal geyser sorry dolmen or abysmal geyser quests that lead you out onto the, some of the various abysmal geysers around the area as you can see here i haven't actually started the questing on this character so the character is not showing up so again some of these some of these dailies you can do right off the bat as soon as you arrive in the area a few of these other ones are hidden until you actually complete a bit more of the questing inside that area 
And I believe the last one they had to show off is Cyrodiil. Assuming I'm still in Cyrodiil, I don't rem Sometimes I get kicked out of Cyrodiil, but so I try to set this character up earlier. But Cyrodiil has a lot of quests as well. I, I know it's weird. You're questing and you're getting AP for it. It doesn't exactly sound like PvP, right? But you, you, it, these di these items have things like scouting uh, resources, uh, sc uh, attacking keeps and capturing, killing players, uh, various other things as well. That's where we're still in. So Grandler is circ uh, circling here for AD. Uh, we'll have, give you a quest to go capture a scroll. Conquest boards are new ones here. This is actually where you get some of the new... Uh, the new items inside this to get a unique gladiator helm piece out of it. You can only get it through the conquest board, so you can only get these once a day. Uh, you can trade and share these with other characters, though. Uh, you have scouting boards, which I don't think you can share, but basically sends you off to go scout various locations inside of the map. Usually items, it, most of these items here are areas you do not have currently captured, uh, which is what they're sending you off to. Uh, bounty mission board, which basically a kill quest, so like kill... 20 sorcerers, kill 20 enemy players, etc. Uh, you have battle mission boards, which will send you off into uh, various areas, and war mission for, uh, boards here. I believe the battle mission boards here are going to send you to capture a certain particular resource, and then the warfront mission board here will send you to capture like a keep or something else like that. Now, I'm not going to show you everything else or where else to go on this, but... For example, on the AD side here, if you head over here into this tavern and you have your Undaunted, or not your Daunted, your Fighter's Guild leveled up. There's something called Bounty Hunter, which gives you access to Bounty Quests for Fighter's Guild. It doesn't actually give you Bounty Quests to go kill players. As strange as it is to say, it's going to give you quests to go kill NPCs in this very various area and say, you know, go kill the Red Bandits over in this area here, or go kill the blue bandits over in this area here. So you have those to go through as well. Then you have dailies inside of each one of these townships. So Verderus, Ruma, and Cropsford. You have questing inside there. And then on top of that, I believe you have some more questing inside of these areas still. These small towns, which aren't really listed as anything as such. Um... I think of where the other daily is. I believe there's one other town I'm probably missing entirely, so I apologize to folks on that. Now, lastly, I'm not going to go into Imperial City right now, but there is also dailies for each district on top of this. So what these apparently do is give you small little coffers, which give you Telvar. And for, you know, when you first come up into the area... After you've done the main quest or like the main scouting quest for each area, you basically head up and in the area there, they'll have like a daily broker that you can get to. You can only get to it once and you're up in the area. Once you drop down, then you have to return to base, go back up to another district and get the quest up there. So if you want to do all these here, basically you should go down into your base, pop up, get the quest, pop back down, go to the next district and kind of get all of them there then drop down and do all of them if you're really looking to grind uh some pvp stuff on that and i think the final ones here for pvp would be battlegrounds which typically you can find your battlegrounds merchants inside of each one of these areas and they basically tell you like oh please go here and complete this go here complete that etc now for the final thing for folks that are pve and don't have any dlc and don't have any expansions there is dailies for you as well uh, as I mentioned at the start of the stream you have your in your daily crafting stuff so you go to your crafting board after you get your certification and you'll go to each one of those areas i'll just get to my character here uh you'll go to each one of those areas and or sorry, you go to each one of those boards, craft something, go in and turn it in, and then you'll have your daily done for the day. You get that once a day. There is add-ons as well to make those a little bit quicker uh, for folks, but I'm not going to really mention that at all on this. If you really want to get, get it, just search it. Ma Crafter UI, or <laughs> I think it's Master Writ uh, add-on or something like that. But anyway, regardless of that, you have a few other 
<laughs> daily so you can get into you have mages guild one here as you can see here all you have to do is be a ma member of the mages guild a member of the fighters guild a member of the undaunted to get these dailies as well but basically every guild has something here uh this basically gives you the draugr motif and the materials to make the draugr as well uh so if you're wondering i know a lot of people have actually just kind of skipped over it because they never even realized that this was here but uh they added this a few patches ago i'm just showing off the grantwood one you can go to almost any city i believe that most of their cities should have this as you can see the fighters guild one and the fighters guild one typically sends you off either into a delve or into a dolmen the mages guild one sends you off into a delve or into like a, an area of research uh such as like an alien ruin of some type and looking around in tamriel for various things here typically it will stick to your faction but i believe the further out that you go the more you explore the more areas it will cover can't say that for certain that might just be my experience if you guys have a different experience so let me know uh because like i said most people i know would see most people i know that have said, have said don't quest around too much just get this done on a low level character uh, for your dailies for this and you're gonna have an easier time getting it done yeah. Yeah. now the final one the one you probably should be doing every day if you're going to be doing dailies or if you're going to be doing any dailies at all in your main character is your undaunted dailies your undaunted dailies give you keys like i mentioned before which lets you get sh uh, shoulders for various items that you need you have uh rogalag <laughs> chief bane who handles most of the dlc stuff you have gilron redbeard and you have Majet. i can never remember who opens what or who handles what uh what dungeons but guess what in every undaunted area there's a little notes here it says notice for pledge duties and this will show you okay uh malar Raga, raganeth handles the bandage cells dark shade elden hollow fungal lugrado gilron redbeard handles the excrodium basically all these high levels and then uralog handles all these dlc stuff so that's always there so you can always know which key opens what here now there's also an additional one here with bull girl uh that to do some extra del some extra delve items here as well and that basically gives you more motif pages for draugr more equipment and yeah just basically more stuff on top of that anyways guys that is how many dailies we have here as you can see there's a crap ton in here questions are how what ones do you do what do you prioritize etc my recommendation if there's an event going on do those because the event ones here you can always get double drops on it which means you get double the motifs on it and you know you can focus on getting that done do any of the ones where you do not have already have a motif from that because if you're trying to do master writs the master writ might call for that motif and if you don't have it then you have to sell it off you can't get the writs from it and third is if you're going to be doing one that doesn't have equipment that you really like on it do it on a low b if it has something that you really want to have equipment for do it on a high b so for example briarheart is something that typically people want and they're looking for weapons for so the rothgar stuff you probably want to do on a high level character so you can get cp 160 gear on that and then sell that off for a more expensive price the dark brotherhood stuff not so well desired to get sithis armor so you can actually just go ahead and do that on a low b sell off all this stuff at the end of it and then move on and do your, have your day anyways that's here of none that's dailies as you can see crap ton of these like 50 plus and probably missing some as well so go out there enjoy do your dailies if you have a lot of time to do this fine but really prioritize your time to what you need and what you need to get done my priorities probably be would probably be doing your uh crafting dailies at the very least doing your dungeon dailies because they're probably the most uh, economical to you and then if an event comes up pop in get them done and if you need a motif, go ahead and grind it out. Anyways, have a good night, guys.